Hola, hola. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Mujer de Éxito Unbounded, Woman of Success Without Limits. This is Marty Angel, your host, and I am so incredibly grateful for you to be here on this podcast and this episode. You know, there are no coincidences in this world. There is no coincidence that you stop by to hear this episode. It is important that you understand that sometimes we speak English and sometimes we speak Espanol and sometimes we speak Spanglish. Hablamos Espanol, hablamos Inglés y a veces hablamos Spanglish. But anyway, you look at it. This episode is going to be amazing. Once again, this is Marty Angel, your host, Empowering Latina Coach. I am a Latina business coach, and I help the bilingual Latina women entrepreneurs, mujerpreneurs, gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up-level from brick and mortar to click and order and rock their six figures. I love coaching the mujerpreneur. But let's get to it. You will enjoy today's episode. I'm so excited. Hoy vamos a tener una plática sumamente importante. Yo sé que les va a gustar. Ready? And today's episode is sponsored by... Dancing crew, trip for two, nail the final interview, game with Doug, brand new mug, come here kid, give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Boosters designed for COVID-19 variants are now available. If you've had your primary series, schedule an updated COVID-19 booster appointment as soon as you're eligible. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another podcast, or if you're watching us live on the Coach Marty Angel channel on YouTube, the video cast. Welcome. My name is Marty Angel. I am your host for the Mujer de Éxito video podcast. Soy Marty Angel, su anfitriona, y aquí tenemos hoy Un tema maravilloso. So let's talk a little bit about what it is we're actually going to talk about today. Because today we have a really interesting topic. One that always plays out in our head. But we talk about this. I talk about this in my coaching groups, you know, in my in my coaching groups with my group coaching group is how does progress actually motivate you more than results? I get a question like that all the time, you know, how does progress actually motivate you more than results? It's important for you to understand that because we're human and because it's really, it's almost a human nature. If you are joining us right now, welcome. My name is Marty Angel, Latina Biz Coach. I help the mujerpreneur, bilingual, and BIPOC woman gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up-level from brick and mortar, do click and order, and rock their six-figure biz. I love working with mujeres, the mujerpreneur. But now let me share, let's go back to the topic at hand today. Let me share my take on on this topic that we have today, the topic of how does progress, how does focusing on progress actually move you forward better than focusing on results? So let me share though, this might be an unpopular opinion because it's my opinion, right? But I think, I, yo pienso that progress is more thrilling than results at least when it comes to working in your business, right? Not on your business, but in your business. Creo yo, personalmente, es una creencia mía, que el progreso es más emocionante que los resultados. Al menos 
a la hora de trabajar adentro de tu negocio. So, don't get me wrong. I couldn't be more proud of the results that I'm getting and the results that my coaches are getting and the results that my network marketing team is getting. I couldn't be more proud, but I'm sharing my coaching, you know, I'm sharing my coaching tips and it's important when I'm sharing my coaching and my digital products, as well as my physical products with my clients, it's important, but it's witnessing the progress that, that they're getting and the progress that I'm doing myself that helps to motivate me to keep me moving forward. And I want to remind you here, this is a good time for me to remind you. Motivation, my friends, is an internal thing. Inspiration is external. Yo te puedo, yo te puedo inspirar, pero no te puedo motivar. Mo la motivación viene, nace de adentro de ti. Pero la inspiración es lo que ves afuera de ti y te inspiras y luego por dentro te motivas y te mueves adelante. As a Latina entrepreneur, guys, it's important to understand how progress can actually motivate you more than results. If we tend to focus on the progress rather than results, we will more than likely continue to move forward at a consistent basis. In my experience, and this is only my experience as a business coach and as a coach since 2005 and as a six-figure income earner, you know, that's a, that's a crazy thing because people always ask me, uh, you know, why are you teaching how to be a six-figure income earner? Have you ever done it yourself? Yes, I have, but I'm not one of those that shares my paycheck with everybody. But yes, I've been there. I've done that. It feels really good and I continue to do that and it feels even better. So for me though, progress is defined as taking small steps consistently to reach a goal. It can be a big goal or it can be a little goal, but it's all about showing up every day and doing the work even when you don't feel like it. And now let me add, even when you say you really don't know how, because we all know that that's a ruse. The truth of the matter is you do know how. You just don't feel like it. And, and probably the reason that you don't feel like it is because you don't have a support team behind you. Or if you do, you're keeping them at bay. You're keeping them out of your closet, as I say. So take a look at that because results are what you achieve at the end of your journey. And if you're only focused on the results, sometimes those results are long-term and you're looking for short-term and because you don't see it right here in front of you, you tend to give up. But results are, you know, are what you achieve at the end of your journey again and they are tangible and they are measurable results. Now, let me say it in Spanish. Los resultados, cuando tú tienes resultado en tu negocio, los resultados son lo que logras al final de tu viaje. Son tangibles y medibles, ¿verdad? Pero a veces, si nada más nos enfocamos en los resultados, no vemos el progreso que estamos haciendo. So oftentimes we get so focused, don't we, amigas? Chulas, hermosas, don't we? We get so focused on the end result that we forget to enjoy the process. ¿Verdad? Raise your hand. I know I've been there and I know being a type A personality, ADD, I know that I tend to get sidetracked and I focus on the end result. And if I don't see it in the short term, híjole, I start that, I get on that entrepreneurial roller coaster, right? 
and I forget to enjoy the process. Like today, this is a process. I enjoy speaking to you guys. So let me share that when we become stressed and anxious, because we're not seeing results immediately, that's your number one key to know that you're focused on the results instead of the progress. So progress is a much better motivator because it helps us to enjoy the journey and appreciate all those small wins that we have along the way. Now, this is important that I say it in Spanish as well. El progreso es un motivador que es mucho más mejor porque nos ayuda a disfrutar el viaje y apreciar los pequeños o las pequeñas victorias en el camino. Y eso se nos olvida cuando nos enfocamos solamente en los resultados. Y si tú tienes un equipo y te, les estás diciendo que se enfoquen en los resultados, amigas chulas, hermosas, les digo que a lo mejor están corriendo al equipo. Let me say that in English. When we focus on the results, and let's say you're a network marketer like I am, and what happens is you focus on the results, you're going to scare away your team because you're not really enjoying the progress. You are focused on the end result. And if you don't get that many sales or if you don't get that rank advancement, you, people give up too, too easy. So our biggest mistake as network marketers is that we tend to focus too much on the results and we need to begin to focus and enjoy and appreciate the progress. It also helps us to develop a more, a more growth mindset. It, it, when we focus on the progress, it helps us to develop that growth mindset because we become more patient. We become more resilient and we develop this growth mindset by practice, which means that we believe that our efforts will eventually lead to success. Isn't that good? Isn't that amazing? I think it's so, 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 so amazing. Let's rub our hands. Yes. Let's focus on the progress. Enfocarnos en el progreso. Progress, my friends, amigas, chulas. Progress is a good indicator that we are on the right track. El progreso es una buena indicadora de que estamos enfocados o enfocadas en el camino correcto. So listen, my friends, feel, look around, you know, take some time to notice. Am I, am I focused on my, on my progress or am I focused on my results? It's a good question to ask yourself. It's a good self-coaching question. Now, reminder, it gives us the confidence when we focus on the progress that we can achieve our goals. Results, on the other hand, can be interpreted in different ways. Sometimes we may not get the results we want because we didn't work hard enough, long enough, or because the goal was perhaps maybe too ambitious. Whatever the reason, though, it's important to remember that the progress, amigas, the progress is what ultimately matters. It is important for us to understand that that's the difference. So now let me ask you, because you know, people are saying, well, you know, I get this all the time, but coach Marty, how do I stay motivated when the progress is slow? Okay. Now let me ask you, who says it's slow? You, you, your worst critic, your worst enemy, your worst competition, <laughs> my friends, let me say this in Spanish because this is important. Ahora me preguntan, pero Coach Marty, 
¿Cómo me mantengo motivada cuando el progreso es lento? Y yo tengo una pregunta antes de que yo conteste esa pre pregunta. ¿A quién le estás haciendo caso? Al cucuy que vive dentro de ti que te dice, hey, no estás eh, haciendo los resultados, no estás llegando a tus metas. ¿Por qué? ¿Quién te dice eso? El cucuy que vive adentro de ti es el único que te dice eso. Así es que déjalo ir. You gotta let it go. You gotta focus on the progress because you've got to see the little steps and celebrate. Now, let me share that you have to celebrate. Now, this is the only time I say have to, but you have to celebrate the progress. So if you made a call today, or if you set up your, your, your reels today, that's progress, amigas. That's progress. Nunca se dejen motivar por los resultados, siempre solo el progreso. If you're an entrepreneur, which all of you are, you know that progress is never a straight line. There will always be obstacles in your way, slowing you down and making it difficult to stay motivated. Yes, I know. I've been there. I'm there with you. I totally get it. Do you know that I am totally one of you? But if you want to be successful, you can't let these obstacles get in your way. You can't. It, it, you need to find ways to overcome them. Okay. Yo sé que a veces es muy difícil es seguir motivada, pero si quieres ser exitosa, no puedes dejar que esos, que esos cucuis, esos obstáculos se queden enfrente de ti para que no te dejen llegar a tus metas. Tienes que encontrar maneras de de sobresalir. You need to find ways to overcome those obstacles and keep moving forward somehow, some way. But I know the easiest way. But here are some tips. Now let's be clear. Here are some tips for staying motivated. These are tips that I share with my coaching group. Some of the things that I share. I love sharing with you. Even though you're not on the inside with us, I love sharing with you. Here are some tips for staying motivated when your progress is slow. Cuando el progreso está muy lento, o tú lo crees, o el cucuy te dice que está muy lento, aquí hay unas, unas pequeños, unos tips para que sigas adelante. Number one. I want you to set small goals and celebrate each accomplishment. Quiero que pongas metas chiquitas, diarias, que puedes, que puedes llegar y luego quiero que celebres cada meta que, que terminas, ¿verdad? Number two, stay focused on your long-term vision. Quédate enfocada en la visión del término largo. Stay focused. Quiero llegar a, a, este, a 5 mil dólares al, al mes, vamos a suponer. Eh, pero hoy voy a llegar a terminar de hacer los emails. Right? Stay focused on your long-term vision. Absolutely. Truly. Or as I say, absolutely, positively, right? And then number three, surround yourself with positive people who believe in your dreams. Remember, make yourself part of a team and make sure that you are a good team player. What is a good team player? One that connects with the team, engages with the team daily. That is a good team player. Think about it. When you go out to practice football, do you do it every three days? Do you go practice football every three days? No. You talk to the coach every single day and you talk and you, and you go out and you interact with the players every single day at practice. Practice is every day. 
even if you are a small business owner, a micro biz owner, or you're an independent contractor for a network marketing company, you still have a coach. You have a mentor. You have somebody you need to check in every single day because that will keep you accountable and that will help you to focus on the progress. So number four, find a mentor or a coach who can help you navigate through the tough times. Encuentra un coach o una mentora que te ayude cuando los tiempos están difíciles. I know, my friends, some, you, I know, like, I know, like, I know, like, I know, times get tough, been there, done that. But you persevere, and it's easier to persevere when you have a team to lock arms with and walk forward. And don't wait to create your team. Reach up. You've got to learn to reach up. Reach up to somebody that's a little bit higher than you. Reach up to somebody that's just, you know, that's already said, hey, my hand is here, but you're not grabbing it. You'd be surprised how many times people say, I know you told me so, but uh, life got in the way. Well, life is always going to get in the way. So remember, busca tus mentoras. Cuidado porque a veces estamos, quiero que, que sepas que si no estás viendo la mano que, este, te, que te están ofreciendo y no la, y no la agarras, pues entonces los, los tiempos de, de sobresalir y ser ex, exitosa van a ser más difíciles. And number five. Take care of yourself physically and emotionally so you have the energy to keep going. Amigas, chulas, it's important. Es muy importante que te cuides emocionalmente, físicamente, por, para tener la energía de seguir adelante. So those are my five tips that I'm giving you today. These are the ones that I share with my team, my network marketing team, my coaching, my coaches, and I actually do it with my family. I always say have and look for a strong support system, like a group coaching or a personal coaching or a, or a network marketing team that you belong to. You need to have something that keeps you going on a daily basis, because if you do it alone, you'll always be alone. And it doesn't feel so good when you're alone. But let me share why, why this is so crucial. As a Latina entrepreneur, as a mujerpreneur, it is important to have a strong support system in place. Why? Because as mujerpreneurs, we're used to familia. Everything is familia. And so when you look for a coaching group, look for that familia. Look for that. And remember, you talk to your kids every day. Why don't you talk to your team every day? You talk to, and by team, I mean reach up and reach down. So you have to send two messages. Ni modo, right? Es importante como mujerpreneur que sepas que tienes que contar con un sistema de apoyo sólido. When progress is slow, my friends, and it's going to be slow sometimes, it's easily, it's easy to get discouraged if you don't have a supportive network of like-minded mujerpreneurs or mujeres and friends that help you stay motivated and focused on your goals. And friends that are in the same area, in that same industry. Why? Because our friends, our friends who are not in the industry with us, don't know what it takes. You need to be with somebody who know what who knows what it takes to move ahead. A strong support system can be or can provide much needed emotional and practical assistance during those difficult times when you're feeling overwhelmed because they can lend a hand or simply offer a listening ear. 
Having people in your corner, amigas, chulas, hermosas, who believe in you and, and in your business can make all of the difference when things get tough. Especially if you're in the network marketing field, if you're in that industry, because so many people are naysayers. So many people are out there saying, no, you can't make money or no, those are not good products. So not true. And that's why you need a support system daily. Their encouragement can give you the boost you need to keep going even when progress is slow. Amigas, chulas, hermosas, let me tell you, progress is going to be slow sometimes. So if you're feeling like giving up on your entrepreneurial dreams, remember that having a supportive network of loved ones is crucial to your success. Really, it really is. Vayan, salgan y busquen a un group coaching donde pueden compartir sus metas y, y platicar con gente que tienen las mismas metas, tal vez no en, en el mismo negocio, no en la misma industria, pero es sumamente importante que tengan un coaching group. Finally, let me say that the importance of focusing on progress over results, amigas chulas hermosas, is imperative. Mujeres. In a world that is constantly moving and changing, it is easy to get caught up in the results of our actions instead of the progress. However, it's important to remember that progress, not results, is what ultimately leads to success. This is especially true for us, the mujerpreneurs. As mujerpreneurs, we're often juggling multiple roles and responsibilities. We wear many hats. That's what we do as Latinas. That's what we do as women of culture. We wear many hats. We code switch. We're bilingual. Sometimes we're trilingual. Sometimes we're multilingual. We code switch all day long. And we're constantly putting on different hats. And we're constantly being pulled in all directions. So it can be difficult to stay focused on your goals. I know I've been there. So when your demands are so many and they're demanding your time and energy, once again, I want you to understand that that support group, that support group that we have is what really keeps us together and moving forward, focused on the progress instead of the results. If we want to be successful in our business, we need to remember, I'll say it again and again and again, you need to focus on the progress over the results. By taking small steps every day toward your goals, we can slowly but surely move closer to achieving them. So now hearing all of this, let me ask you, what motivates you more, progress or results? Así es que, escuchando todo lo que acabo de decir, déjame hacerte una pregunta. ¿Qué te motiva más a ti, personalmente, el progreso o los resultados? Y la otra cosa es que, que si estás motivada por los resultados, está muy bien, pero quiero que sepas que cuando estás motivada por los resultados, solamente no vas a ver tu progreso. Y eso que no vas a ver tu progreso te va a dejar muy deprimida a veces cuando los resultados no vienen al momento que tú quieres. So, hear me, amigas chulas. I would love to hear from you. I want you to remember to comment. If you're watching this on the YouTube, click the, uh, you know, click or, or tap or whatever you call it, the subscribe bell there. So you never miss an episode that drops weekly. And then if you're listening to me on the audio podcast, 
Thank you, and make sure to drop me a comment, download the podcast episode, because that's how they measure progress, right? That's how the podcasts are measured, by downloading the episode. So download the episode, and then listen to it, and then get rid of it. That's all I ask. And if you have any questions, drop me a DM. I'm mostly on my Instagram DMs at Marty Angel underscore ELC for Empowering Latina Coach. As always, please remember if you're watching me live on the Coach Marty Angel via the video podcast or listening to me, I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you, my viewers, my listeners, and remember that it w- those of you that reach out to me, quite a few of you have said, thank you for the free gift. I'm still giving, I'm still, I'm still big enough to, ca- I, I'm big enough to, to rock those six figures, but I'm small enough to care about you and still give you personal attention. Como siempre, recuerda que estoy aquí para ustedes. Háganle like y háganle click a la campanita para que me vean en, en el Coach Marty Angel YouTube o en el video podcast. Escuchándome en la versión del, de audio del podcast en cualquier cualquier lugar donde escuchan ustedes su podcast. Mujer de Éxito Unbounded. This is Marty Angel, your host. Y estoy increíblemente agradecida con todas ustedes. Y les deseo un bonito día. Reminder that I am so incredibly grateful for you, each and every one of you. And I hope that you reach out to me. And if you got value from this episode today, please remember to share it with someone who may need to hear it. And as always, have a beautiful day. Take care, my friends, amigas chulas. Namaste. Gracias. This episode brought to you by Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. The Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask locks in intense moisture to perfectly prime your skin for restful sleep. Apply this relaxing hydration serum several times a week to pamper yourself and radiate your healthier looking complexion. Sheet masking is all the rage right now. Make it a regular part of your healthy skincare regimen today. Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. Click the link below and get yours today.